Look on the screen, look on the screen. I know that's a, a heck of a request to ask. Who, 83 year old. The name is Harvey Marshallin. I'm calling him Harvey the serial killer murderer Marshallin based on the allegations. I'm sure you've heard about it. The body parts. Here's another update here. Fair use. Check it out. He was actually, I guess he's in like a scooter chair, a wheelchair. Believe it or not, this thing, and I'm talking about based upon the actions of murder, dismembering people, he was actually sitting. This is him right here. This is him right here. I guess he's getting careless. Check it out. They showed when he got up, he was actually sitting on a leg. So while he's in that seat driving around right here, he was actually sitting on a leg. Check it out, people. Fair use. A transgender woman from Brooklyn charged with second degree murder, evidence tampering, and concealing a dead body. Miss Harvey and another unknown female at the Home Depot in Manhattan. They purchased a sawzall, trash bags, and cleaning solutions. And police say this video shows Marceline in her wheelchair days later buying supplies that were later used after the victim, 68-year-old Susan Layden, had been dismembered. This is a gruesome and barbaric homicide which resulted in a headless torso being disposed of on a New York City corner. The investigation began last week when that torso was found in a shopping cart in Brooklyn near Atlantic and Pennsylvania Avenues, and a leg was found soon later. During a search of Marshland Cypress Hills apartment, police say they found the head of the victim, and Marshland was then taken into custody. Police say that while she was in the store buying supplies, the foot of the victim was with her in the wheelchair. Mm. The bottom of the foot, the leg from the knee down, was she was sitting on authorities say harvey has five previous arrests going back to assault in 1957 booking in 1962 she was arrested twice in 1963 for rape and then homicide for which she was released in 1984 but arrested again in 1985 for homicide the nypd says the homicide arrests were for women she was dating at the time the first victim was shot and the second in 1985 was stabbed this is just the latest of a list of heinous offenses conducted over a period of a lifetime by Miss Harvey, and we can only hope that she can do no more. Well, she can do no more if you, if you, him, if you leave him in there. You're a transgender woman, but yet you hate women. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Look at all the opportunities. We want to be so PC. Well, being PC is killing other people. It's killing citizens, the taxpayers. We want to be so, oh, give them another chance. Look at all the chances you've been given. They showed before us, since the 50 years, since the 20 years. So the time get out, do something two or three years later. Kill the woman. Now rolling and got the audacity to roll around in your wheelchair. Don't stole your wheels too. Dismember your body. And think driving around. I guess forgot to leave, leave one of the parts, and it's a leg. 83-year-old evil dust bucket butt sitting on the leg of the victim. If he had stayed in there where he belonged, given those charges, if he hadn't got out, this would have happened. Tax dollars at work. Give him chance after chance after chance. Harvey Marshall and the murderer. We need some prison reform. You got it. That's why your crime has increased. You got it now. This is what it looks like. All these dust buckets, young and old, just run around doing crazy stuff. You got to face reality. Some people can't be reformed. It kills me how a lot of these criminals are given the benefit of the doubt, and especially in the B.C. Oh, given the benefit of the doubt every time. The B.C., we're real good at doing that, especially when only when it's a black man now. Oh, yeah. Give him the benefit of the doubt and then turn around and blame the victim. 
you could be walking to your car well she you know she should have known to be in that area when she had that that gucci bag or that chloe bag on her arm you know them crackheads like chloe bass i got to put some responsibility on her that's very bc pc like but don't forget it's only when it applies to the men in the black community everything is on the women this here with harvey uh, they keep saying she, the man is actually born a he, so that's what he identifies with. How about he identifies with murder? He needs to be in there and not get out. Don't be surprised. Again, New York with these DAs, don't be surprised. They might just give him bond, y'all. He might get the bond now. Crimes against women are on the rise. I'm just trying to understand. This is a man, and you identify as transgender, I'm trying to understand how you have this much. He hates women. Is it you want to be one so bad that you hate them? You hate your mama that raised you? He's, he's sick. I don't give a darn how 83. He looked like he bought 103 with that twisted wig. They, he does not need to see the light of day. He doesn't. He doesn't need to see a lot of day. I don't give a damn what his age is. I don't care if he gets sick. Maybe he would like to be dismembered while alive, no anesthesia. See, this is a good example. People can do what they want to do. He looks frail as heck. How you get the ups on someone? You know how to use that sawdough, don't you? Dismembering. Here is my question. And the fact that he is sitting on the leg of the victim makes you wonder, how many other crimes have they not solved? See, he's 83. You're getting old. You're slipping. How many other crimes have they not solved? How many other bodies are on Harvey? Slipping. Who the hell? Sitting on the leg. Oh, I forgot to put this one in the trash. Sitting on a woman on the leg. Wow. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's in the, how you paying your rent. I wouldn't be surprised if he's getting besides uh, maybe social security and disability check. I don't know if it's true, but I've heard some people say, oh, yeah, some of these criminals, you know, they can get out and claim different things and get disability checks. I have no idea. Your tax dollars at work. And look, while the tax dollars are at work, he's sitting up here. He's going to work, all right. He's working on, his work is called Merc. Merc somebody and dismember him. Getting a solid, are you crazy? Then I saw a report. They said they found a head in the apartment. This fool was even sitting up there with a body inside the apartment. No one, I don't, no one smelled anything. Unbelievable. The dust. Ooh, dusties bring super deluxe drama. They bring death and super deluxe trauma. The financial implication, we got to pay to feed this thing on the screen. It's too much dust in the nation. Dismember and put the, bo put the, part, the body parts out like trash. And yes, somebody gonna want to stand up for him. That's because he's transgender. Let me get. He didn't mean to do it. Well, we got him. You know, he can do so much trauma. Does these bring trauma and drama? Sometimes it seems to me that the people that do the wrong, the criminals, have more rights than the citizens. And some people are so stupid they want to easily identify with the perpetrator. So Harvey, serial killer. Merciless murderer Marcelin. I hope you get what you deserve. The rest of your day should not, uh, he shouldn't live them in peace. You know why I say that? The victims didn't. Imagine you being murdered and dismembered. Family members having to deal with that reality. I hope your last days on this earth are just like you gave those people, the victims, a living hell. After all, that's what you get. That's what you gave. I hope you get what you gave. Pain and misery. And I have no sympathy because of your age. 
Thanks for listening, people. Feel free to come and like, subscribe, and share them out. Stay safe. Keep your head on a swivel. Be careful out there because there is dangerous, deadly dust everywhere.